Good morning class. Today we're going to cover polynomial classifications and we're going to start with the quadratic polynomial. Now anytime you have a polynomial where the highest degree is a 2, that would be a quadratic polynomial. Again, the highest exponent is 2. The maximum number of terms you'll see is 1, which will be n minus 1, which we learned about in the previous video. The maximum number of real roots you will have is 2. And a quadratic polynomial in your graph it will look something similar to this. It will resemble a smiley face or a frown if the exponent is 2. And the maximum real roots will be 2, which means the maximum times it will cross the x-axis is 2 times. Okay, let's move on to cubic. Now, cubic polynomial has an exponent of 3. Highest degree of the exponent is 3. The maximum number of terms is 2 and minus 1, which is 2. The maximum number of real roots or the maximum number of times it will cross the x-axis is 3 times. Here we see the two terms. One turn here, one turn here, and here it crosses 1, 2, 3, the x-axis. That's the maximum number of terms or maximum number of times, I should say, it will cross the x-axis. Let's move on to the quartic. A quartic polynomial has an exponent of 4. Quartic polynomial. And the highest exponent, the number of terms that you'll have, the max terms will be 3. The maximum real roots is 4. Here we see three terms, 1, 2, 3, and it crosses two times here the x-axis. Again, the number of times it will cross is the max number of times. It doesn't always have to cross that exact number of times. That's just the maximum number of times it will cross the x-axis. Also, good to note that for a quartic polynomial, when you graph it, it looks like either an M or a W, depending on if it's positive or negative. Let's go to the quintic function. A quintic function has the highest degree of 5. Maximum number of times it will cross is 4, and 5 is the maximum real root. Here we see it crosses 1, 2, only 3 times here, but the maximums are here. So again, we have the quadratic with an exponent of 2, smiley face or frown, the cubic polynomial with an exponent of 3, which resembles a stretched out S. The quartic, which is an exponent of 4, which looks like either an M or a W. And we have the quintic with an exponent of 5, which can resemble similar shapes. All right, let's continue. Now, we're going to look at N behaviors of polynomials. Now, all even degree polynomials behave on their ends like quadratics. All odd degree polynomials behave on their ends like cubics. What does that mean? For example, when the leading exponent is odd, the ends of the polynomial head in opposite directions. One end is up, one end is down, like a cubic function. For example, if we look at our cubic function, the, the exponent is odd. We see one end down, one end up. Let's look at our quintic here. Exponent is 5. One end up, one end down. For all odd number polynomials, you're going to have the ends one end up, one end down. Okay, when the leading exponent is even, the ends of the polynomial head in the same direction. Both ends are up or both ends are down like a quadratic. Let's go back and take a look. Let's look at the quadratic. See, the exponent is 2. Both ends are down. Let's look at our quartic. The exponent is 4. Also even. Both ends are up. So if the exponent is even, both ends are going the same way. If the exponent is odd, they go in opposite directions. Okay. Now, let's go further. When the leading coefficient is positive and even, the function will start from the top of the graph and go down. Let's take a look at that. Leading coefficient is positive and even. So here in our quartic function, this is positive and even. 
starts from the top of the graph and goes down. Okay? Now, let's see what it says here. When the leading coefficient is positive and odd, the function will start from the bottom of the graph and go up. So, positive and odd. Let's take a look at the cubic function. Positive and odd exponent. Starts from the bottom and goes up. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Okay? Start from the bottom, goes up. So, let's see here. When the leading coefficient is negative and even, the function will start from the bottom of the graph and go up. Let's take a look at that. When it is negative and even, see again, started from the bottom, now we're here. Starts from the bottom and goes up when it's negative and even. Okay? And let's go back here. When the lead coefficient is negative and odd, the function will start from the top of the graph and go down. So, when it's negative and odd, starts from the top of the graph and goes down. Okay? Now, let's take a look at these sketches here. So, if we look at this first sketch, well, it's starting from the top and going down. And both ends go in the same direction. So starting from the top and going down and even. So it could be positive and even because the function starts from the top of the graph and goes down. Also, both ends of the polynomial head in the same direction like a quadratic function. Again, if the exponent is even, both ends are going to go in the same direction. Now this next one could be positive and odd because the function starts from the bottom and goes up and both ends head in opposite directions like a QC. This one is heading this way, this one's heading this way, which is reminiscent of an odd number for the exponent. Okay, so that's a quick way that we can classify polynomials. And uh, if you have any questions, just take a look at this video again. Most of this is pretty straightforward. And uh, we'll see you again on the next video. Take care.